The walleye opener is two weeks in, but for many this weekend starts the fishing season. For guide Steve Carney, it's a season that takes him across the state. I start way west, work my way east, so I'm actually on hot fish all year because I keep changing lakes and, and regions yep. Yep. according to water temperature and time of the year and I, I just can't sit on one lake. It's been a different spring so he finds different presentation. Another bait I've been using a lot the last few years which I haven't touched for many years is a blade bait and this is basically something that a lot of the river rats use. Uh, this is probably a 40 year old bait and this is called a blade vibrating bait and I've been using this a lot. But what he reminds you is that you need to be one with your rod and reel. It's all about feel and matching all the components properly. If one thing is wrong, you lose the touch, you lose the performance. Um, kind of like golf clubs, you know, when you get fitted for golf clubs, it's all about tailoring it to what you're doing. This is six pound test. I use six pound all year. What does he look for as he tries to find the perfect lake, the ideal hot spot, the one he has not mastered? Obscure lakes with no people. Really? Pretty much. Is that what you like to find? And that's kind of what fishing's all about. You locate these little gems. It's all about the thrill of landing one and his simple piece of advice for this weekend. Right now at this time of year around Memorial weekend, slow and shallow is the key. A little bit. I've got to go to a line that doesn't stretch. Rule number one as you pursue your fish of choice this spring, don't think you have to get complicated. Mainly because I want something that sinks very slow and is very neutrally buoyant. What I mean by that is most anglers will take a heavy jig, they throw it out in shallow water, they're snagged, and that jig isn't performing. Carney is a guide. Many of his clients come from other states, and you might be surprised what they think Minnesota's state fish is, at least to them. You know what the most popular fish they want is northern pike. Come on. They know about the reputation of their fight, they know they've got a lot of teeth, they're aggressive predators, and northern pike are... Everybody wants northern pike. Not I mean, it's not our favorite fish, but it's their favorite <laughs> fish because they don't have it. Keep an eye on the temperature and try to get it to 60 degrees. This morning, we've seen three fox, one coyote. There's two geese playing right over there. I mean, yeah, the wildlife is digging it. Do you, do you like that part of this? I mean, seeing the wildlife, or do you, are you so intense on fish and sometimes you forget how beautiful it is? Exactly. You just sort of miss it. <laughs> you know, you're just sort of focused on other things and. Yeah. I got news for you, buddy. We don't get enough days like this. You got to stop oh. once in a while and take a deep breath. Keep an eye on the temperature, ideally around 60 degrees. That's why they're going gangbusters right You'll now. take 60 every day? Yeah, it just takes a while to get to 60, especially this year. It's been 40s for two weeks. That's what he does, watches everything, every day. And this spring has been no gift from Mother Nature, which leads to an obvious question. You ever get tired of fishing? Yes. What do you do then? Fish. <laughs> Play golf.